we are right now crossing into Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan naturally. And we are officially in Saskatchewan. Scott, this is your first time here, is that correct? It is, yeah. I've never been east of Alberta, believe it or not. So, so I, this is exciting. Well, we technically drove through uh, Saskatchewan when we drove through like Cross Canada when I was really, really little. Uh, but this will be my first time actually spending any time in Saskatchewan. And we are on our way to Regina. Regina. We are on our way to Regina. What's up everybody? Joel Hans here. So yeah, we just uh, drove eight hours today. We are now officially in Regina. And uh, we're heading up to Lumsden, I believe it's called, Lumsden, to do a challenge at a place called the Hillside Smoking Cube. So really, really cool. Um, so yeah, just here in the Airbnb bay now before we check up and head up that way. So it's just a little bit north in Lumsden, just north of Regina. So the challenge we're gonna do today, it is a omelet challenge. Well, like a breakfast challenge. So you have this like, Brisk, like brisket, like bris smoked brisket, it's a barbecue place. So smoked brisket, omelet, uh, French toast, bacon, and sausage, and had tater tots. So pretty cool challenge. Uh, it is apparently undefeated, super cool. We're gonna have 20 minutes to complete it, if not. Uh, and, oh yeah, and it's 20 bucks. But like if you beat it, you get a $40 gift card. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's about it. I'll give you some more info and let's go check this place out. It seems really unique, because it's in like a park. Like it's legit, like at a park, in a park. So, yeah, anyway, let's go eat some food. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenges. So it looks very, very, very delicious. So we have a lovely looking breakfast. So here we have a whole bunch of tater tots, five breakfast sausages, three pieces of bacon, a six egg omelet with a whack of brisket. I love brisket, I love smoked beef, I love beef in general. Then we have three pieces of French toast. So, Scott, breakfast, is this your first breakfast challenge? Uh, first breakfast challenge of the day. Of the day? Yeah, actually, I think it's my first breakfast challenge. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Of the day, yeah. you have more? Maybe. Second maybe. one? Jeez Louise. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're gonna get started. We have only 20 minutes to eat this thing. It is currently undefeated, but I'm super excited. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get started here momentarily. Got some yep. uh, spoons, courtesy of Scott. Thanks yeah, for having yeah. some big spoons. Cheers. This is a little bigger than mine, but I won't I won't hate him for giving me the smaller spoon. Right? Yeah, well, I think he's got a bigger mouth, so maybe he should. Touche. He should, Touché. yeah. All know. right, I'll use a smaller okay. Maybe it's an advantage. We'll see. Where are you gonna start, brother? I am. All right, good luck. My pleasure. Okay. With that, everybody, let's get a countdown. So we'll say it count of five, four, four three, three, two, one. one. Enjoy. Mm. You guys can talk and stuff too, by the I'm gonna be full for a week after that. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to this video, which today we're in Lumsden, Saskatchewan at a restaurant called Smoke and Q, which is a food truck and a little location in a park. All right, I'm excited for this almond and brisket. Yes, that's right, you heard me, a park. At first we were wondering if Google was wrong, but it's legit like, in a park. Lots of cheese on too, probably a cheese lover. You know if you'd go to a baseball field and like they'd usually have like a little canteen kind of having like hot dogs and stuff? Well, that's kind of where this is kind of situated in a park. It's pretty cool, actually. So if you're coming to this park, you can actually get some, you know, quality food, not just like basic hot dogs. You can get some different barbecued items and uh, all the array of different items which they offer. Um, so yeah, really cool and very unique location um, here at this Smoke and Q. And here we are to try their new er breakfast challenge. New er, not new. Right, so uh, scramble leg there and risk it. So there had been somewhere between a dozen, like half a dozen and a dozen attempts. Um, so you had the six egg omelet with a half pound of brisket, you had a whole bunch of tater tots, you had three pieces of French toast, five breakfast sausages, three pieces of bacon, and I think that's it. And then there was also Alabama white sauce, onions, I think maybe tomatoes and peppers as well in the omelet. So some Alabama white sauce in there. So I would say the difficulty with this challenge really comes from the time limit. Um, it's probably about a four, maybe four and a half, but I'd say like four pound challenge, so it's not massive, but it's that speed, that time limit, which is definitely keeping you undefeated up to this point. And of course, we were hoping to change that. That's what happens, yeah? Go well. Got about 17 minutes left. Scott's killing it. I'm doing not too bad. 
So let's get her shot. Mm -hmm. It was pretty unique that it was a breakfast challenge. Breakfast challenges are definitely not the most common. And then especially to have a barbecue breakfast challenge. I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, previously, they did have some other challenges. I know they had a burger challenge with like a poutine. Um, and I believe there was one other one I just can't think of off the top of my head, but they kind of like do a rotating challenge schedule. So definitely contact them and find out what they're offering at the moment um, to, if you are interested in doing the challenge. And then I think most notably they're doing the challenges on like Sundays and maybe available other days of the week as well. I'm just not 100% sure. So definitely contact them, uh, Smoke and Q, give them a go if you're interested in trying it out. So I think that's pretty much all the information there. So I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully we can get some wins and uh, ultimately I guess if we do get a win we'll be setting a new record so Lumsden Saskatchewan let's enjoy I swallowed a tater chop funny but French toast and that's about it Somewhere about 345, 346, four minutes, somewhere. Every time will be on screen, you've tried to saw it. So very delicious. I really like the brisket and the omelet. Very easy to go down. Um, Scott is just finishing up, absolutely destroying it. He's down to basically a mouthful of just one piece of French toast. And actually, I heard there was another challenge here, so I might have to try another one as well. I think it was a burger, so I love burgers, you know, so. Everybody, super delicious challenge. This challenge is available for my understanding like Sundays, maybe other times. But definitely give Hillside a call. Come check them out. I mean, delicious here in the beautiful city of Lumsden, Saskatchewan. So with that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, and don't do what we do. Touche. Let's go round two. All right. And now you see the beautiful scene near Saskatchewan. This is a very green part. The rest has been a little bit more kind of yellowish like that color. But uh, this is what we've been seeing for the last, I don't know, four, <laughs> five hours, about four hours, I guess, on our way to Regina. So it's very flat, <laughs> lots of fields. There's some little small hills like those ones there, which might be man-made. But uh, yeah, so the beautiful scenery of Saskatchewan. Oh look, this sign says tourist attractions. Casino. I wonder, yeah, casino. I wonder what else the tourist attractions are. I hope it's not a, I hope it's nothing but a field. I really enjoy these fields. They're really good tourist attractions. And then here in Saskatchewan, there's uh, you know big snow hills still in August. No, I'm just kidding. This is totally from the water. It's calcification, like the minerals. Like the water is obviously ridiculously hard here. Look at that. It looks like snow. That's insane. Man, who would have known the water is so dang hard here? In near Gravelberg. Yeah, near Gravelberg, in Saskatchewan, or 
Sasquatchawan. So here we are on a gravel road. I think this must be one of the bigger roads in Saskatchewan. Uh, no, we're really close to Regina and somehow Google Maps has taken us 30 kilometers, like 20 miles on a freaking dirt road, which maybe is not that odd or unique of a thing out here. Uh, to me, it's a little different from my experience, like having dirt road literally right beside major or like large cities. But um, I can taste the dust in my mouth. Good, good, good taste. Maybe I've been on the car yet. Oh well, Saskatchewan. What do you think, Scott? Dirt roads, common? Yeah, I love them, man. It's it's much appreciated, and uh, yeah, welcome. Really relaxing. Good on the car suspension too. <sighs> Prepares us, right? Yeah, just. Chill on a dirt road, laid back swerving like I'm George Dolan. Water in the console. <laughs> <laughs>